Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. I have a tool review today for you that is from the Milwaukee Packout system. There's a lot of new items out there for Milwaukee Packout to get excited about. Uh, they have different things that you can hang on walls in your garage. Uh, they even have the tumblers, the 20 and 30 ounce, cool them with cross. HVAC just put out a video for the 20 ounce that's really good if you want to check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, but I got to tell you, buddy, I went and got me a tumbler and I went and put it in my Packout crate. And I just don't think it's all that compatible with it. It just kept falling around here like crazy. You won't get that unless you've watched this video, but I'll put a link in the description. Make sure and check that out. Uh, but I, out of all those things, all the new things that you've seen come in pack out, the thing that actually interested me the most is the pack out crate divider. Uh, just a small piece of plastic like this. That's the one that interested me. I use the pack out crate a lot. It's probably to me the most versatile thing that you can use in the pack out system. I, I, I use it if you watch my truck loadout video, you can see it in the back of my truck where I keep my tool bags in that, but that's really just my storage spot for this crate. I don't have to put my bags in this crate, but I wanna have this crate with me. I keep my bags in there, but then if I need this crate, I just take my bags, put them in my truck floor and use this. I use it for a lot of different things. Even though it says not a step on the bottom, that doesn't say that it's not a seat. So if I'm working somewhere and I need to sit down low, I will take this out of my truck. I will throw my knee pad on it and then I will just use that as a seat. It also works good, kind of like a five gallon bucket, except for to me it works better because you got a, a rectangle shape which typically holds more than a cylinder. Also, I've got two solid handles over here on the side so I can hold it with two hands very easily if I make it heavy. Whereas a five gallon bucket, sometimes if you make that heavy, it's hard to carry. But I will grab supplies, whether it's from my office or my truck or even the store. I might come out from Home Depot or Lowe's with the bag, and I might just throw it straight in here, walk it into wherever I'm working. But I use it to store all sorts of things. So if I'm getting ready, you know, for a job, I'll just throw random things in there. Whatever it is going to be for that job of supplies that might be bulk stuff. And then again, I'll just carry that in. The only downside to this crate for me is I typically use the single wide organizers uh, in the back of my truck you can see where i stack those on top of my drawers uh, normally this is all i'm running because this size right here whether it's the thin profile or the thicker profile is typically a good way for me to organize certain things i don't need a bunch of compartments for you know electrical supplies whenever i'm only going to carry some wagos wire nuts or some crypt connectors whatever it might be and the thing of it is, it will go onto this crate. Uh, if you, you play around with it enough, you can, get, you can get it hooked into these side tabs that there are, but it really easily just slides right off. So if you're walking around with that and something happens and you move or whatever, plus it's just really hard to get it on there. So the only good use that you can use organizers for for this is if you have a double one. If you have a double one, you can slide it on it will lock right into place just like a toolbox would or anything else and it kind of serves as a cover too so that's again why to me this crate is very versatile because it can be an open top pack out system or i could put something like this on it and it's the same as having a lid for it that i can take on and off well the downside of only having these double organizers for one again like i said sometimes i don't need this much stuff i only need a small amount to carry in for whatever that job is so that's extra weight and all sorts of things. But the biggest reason why this doesn't work for me is because sometimes I need to carry in something that would be tall. So just for an example, let's say I needed to carry in some piping or something that was just this tall, or maybe even my tool bag, my single tool bag, if I wanna put that in there and then have some parts over here and I need an organizer, I can just do that. Well, if I have something that sticks up taller than whatever this crate is, I can no longer stick my double organizer on top of there. So that's one downside as far as for just using double organizers. I could still put this on there if I wanted to, and I'd still have room for something tall on this side. But again, this doesn't lock into place. So that's why whenever I saw this divider, it was the one that interested me the most out of all the pack out stuff, because you can get you a piece of wood and you can cut it and you can put it in there. Although this is only $18. And at the price of plywood today, I think you might even be over 18 bucks to buy you a little piece to make yourself something. And you're going to have the time involved in that. So I knew whenever I saw this, it was supposed to allow you to be able to use these single containers with your pack out crate. So it, it slides in very easily. Let me go ahead and take this tag off. Uh, works well. Goes right down in there. 
But now you have these two in the back. You have these two spots right here, and that's gonna work with your tabs as far as to help lock it in place. So it's a whole lot easier to locate where that's supposed to go now. I'm not fumbling around seeing if I can grab those tabs. And now it does snap into place. So now you've got a spot for a single organizer. I can still keep something tall in this side, and that's gonna work well for me for that. Or I could put, again, my tool bag in there or whatever else. But not only that, this gives me access to the crate still while I'm using my organizers. If I have that double lid on there, no matter what, I'm going to have to take that off to get to whatever's inside of here. Versus now, I can reach in here and get whatever I have on this side without even taking this off. So it's going to work well for that. Now, where it doesn't really work as well as I thought that it would is that up here on the front... There isn't anything like this to catch this front tab on this side. So basically you're locked in on three points, but not four. Uh, but again, it still does lock in much better than what it did before because it didn't lock in at all. But it still is a little loose up here in the front. So you're probably not gonna wanna carry it by like this or something. You're still gonna wanna carry it the way that you normally would. And again, it works good for what I expected it to. I just kind of wish it did lock in a little bit better than that. But I mean, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere unless you really pull on it. Because if you can still pull up on this front and out, and it will come out of there and slide out. But if you, if you just carry it like you normally would, it's not gonna be an issue. I like the fact that it locates better because that was the hardest part about sliding these on there before was just finding the right spot. This kind of gets you there the same same way as all the pack out stuff locates so well and it still goes into place you get that little lock action and then now you can just pull it in and out now with the divider in there you can still use a double it doesn't block anything to keep you from being able to do that so if you wanted to leave your divider in place you could do that and then you can also still if you if you keep your crate in a stack and you you stack a toolbox on top of it or whatever it might be and you wanted that divider just to separate some things, you can still do that and still stack the double stuff on top. You don't have to just stack a single, so it still works well for that. It also does have a few holes right here and also some spots where you can probably take and screw some screws through. It's very similar to a lot of the other uh, pack out stuff where I see people mounting chargers and things like that to it. I'm not gonna go to that extent on it, but you could obviously run something through here if you wanted to hold something more permanent in place zip ties or whatever it might be uh, so you can also attach stuff to that as well and it would work for you it slides in pretty easy it does take a little bit of effort to pull it out i, I think that's probably a good thing i would think you wouldn't want it extremely sloppy especially if you were going to leave it in here all the time and then you're going to flip it upside down sometimes to use it for a seat like me uh, i'm probably not going to leave it in there all the time i'm just going to put this in the sleeve on the back of my seat where you can hold stuff that way again i can keep my tool bags in there and then if i'm going to use the crate and i need the space divider or i'm going to use a small organizer i can pull that right out of my sleeve on the back of my seat throw that in place and then go to town on whatever my job is so yeah that's the pack out divider 18 dollars at home depot i had to ship it to the store i don't know if the stores are going to stock these a lot of times this kind of stuff at least my store never carries this kind of stuff. Maybe yours does. But yeah, I'm impressed with it as far as it's doing what I want it to do or what I hope that it would do. I wish it did it a little better up here in the front, but not a deal breaker for me. But again, if you're a person who has these crates and you like to use them in this way and you have a lot of single organizers and things like that, I just think it makes your setup a little bit more versatile than it was to start with. And that's always a good thing. I hope this is interesting. I hope it was useful. Let me know in the comments below uh, if what you think about the packout divider or if it's something that you think that you'll be able to use in your job to help make you more efficient and help you to get the job done faster. Hope all is well. Stay safe. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys on the next video.